was that? That was 2001. So then, in 2002, my older brother came to the States. That's when I filed out his paperwork myself for the refugee protection claim. Your older brother? Older bro brother, no. Then, um, in April of 2002, a uh, boy's father with his wife and little Jahar came to the States. That's when I filed a petition for their refugee status. Because Anzor, he, uh, back home, he also uh, worked as, a, as a, he worked in the enforcement agencies. He also a lawyer. So he was prosecuted enough. We were lucky to take him out of Kyrgyzstan alive. So that was when they came. April 2002. Did you ever talk to them about living in America? Did they did they like it? What did they tell you? They always like it. You know, if they like it, they live there. If they don't like it, they would leave. Did they tell you anything about their life in Boston? Um, they don't have to say something about their Boston. Kids live their freedom. That's what it is. Life in Boston and Canada. Kids, as soon as they know they are free, they do whatever they want, then they don't listen to their parents, especially when they grow up. So that's it. But you said they were Back struggling home, to find themselves. But, huh? I didn't say he was struggling. I said it seemed like he wanted to find out what he wants. But at that age, all they want is love. So he found his love. He married. He had a daughter. And he was very happy about his daughter. Which one are you talking about? Older one, Tamerlan. And so they came to Canada first and then to Boston? I didn't say they came to Canada first. Guys, listen. They came to the, they came to the States. To the States. In what year? In 2002. To Boston. First, parents came. Mother and father and Jahar when he was little. Three kids were back home in Kazakhstan living with my younger brother. So they came first. Because Anzor never goes anywhere with his wife. So that's why they came here. He just fled Kyrgyzstan. We applied for a refugee status in the States. And he was given that status. And by the way, lightly, he was given lightly because he sounded, he sounded, you know, as he, 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 he was, convincing. So he got his refugee status. In a few months, his three kids united with them. You said that Anzor never travels with his wife. Tell us a little bit about the family. The without family. wife. Without, pardon me. Without. Tell us a bit more about... Uh, without wife. <laughs> got you. Because uh, he loves her uh, dearly. Tell us a little bit more about the family. What was the home uh, situation like growing up? Uh, growing up uh, within the family, everything was perfect. Because Anzor is a very loving and soft-hearted father. That's why I don't know what will happen to him now when he hears this. But apparently, when, even when I hear, uh, like, you know, Anzor said this and that, I don't believe Anzor said that. It, it, who that said is his wife. I don't believe that Anzor is even able to speak now. As much as I know my brother, he would not be able to speak over the phone hearing this news. Where is he now? He is in Mahachkala. His wife is there also. She joined him a few months ago because they were going back and forth and back. I mean, his wife was going back and forth because they wanted their daughters to stay in their marriage. As I said, two daughters both have children. And with all the freedom in the States, they just, you know, um, don't want to stay with their husbands put. They Sorry, want to how travel. Many, how many siblings are there? Four all together. Four children. Two brothers, two girls. So they had two. They have two sisters. Yes. Are they in Boston? They have have to be. How in old are they? Younger, older? Uh, <coughs> one is older than Jahar. One is younger. No, actually, Jahar is the youngest. They in between. Two well, girls are in the middle. One in the middle. You, you said that Lin, uh, married a Christian girl. Uh, there are some reports that he or someone by his name posted a video on an Al Qaeda uh, YouTube like account. Saying what? It was just a video. It was to do with black banners. It's an end times prophecy, as I understand. Uh, this morning, when you know, I saw that like it says, this might be Tamerlan Sarnaev's Twitter site or something, and again. Being a lawyer might be. And I clicked on that, and there's this clip, and 
By the way, I went in there also, you know, some time ago, and I thought to myself, what an ugly voice sounds in that clip. That's, you know, even I went in there because, you know, in YouTube, there's always something pop up. You, you, you're watching something like, you know, The Secret, listening to that, and uh, there's something even unrelated will come up, then it goes on and on and on and on, and you just, you know, being, uh, have not even interested just to see what, what shit is that. Sometimes there's a lot of it. And you feel like, what shit is that? You just click on it, and I heard this this morning. This morning, and I thought, if I was there, why wouldn't just, you know, uh, just out of curiosity, Tamerlan wouldn't go in there also. Would you say that your nephews were devout practicing Muslims? He was not devout practicing, but just recently, maybe two years ago, he started praying five times a day, which is, I don't see anything bad in it. You know, it takes off your mind five times, you set up the time, you say gratitude words to create it, that's it. Which nephew is There's that? nothing said about this. Uh, I would rather him praying than he will be smoking, doing drugs, and doing some other unlawful stuff. Which nephew are you referring that's to? That's Tamerlan. I thought you said he was a devout Christian. His wife is. Well, guys, I wish you were lawyers like me, because when I listen and speak, I say only what I know. That's why she lives with my mother. And it was my sister and my mother who called Anzur and Mahachkala to find out how your kids find. We have